Hello, my name is Aaron and I'm a Principal Technical Product Specialist for Zscaler Workload Communications. Today we're going to take a quick look at the VDI agent for workload communications. Virtual desktop environments are a growing trend in enterprises today with many users logging into a single machine, yet requiring user-level granularity with regards to policy. Here we can see a typical ZIA firewall policy, and in this case applied to the user John Smith. The VDI agent allows administrators to build policy around all ports and protocols, not just web traffic. This policy blocks all traffic from John. So let's access the VDI environment with John's account. We've already installed the VDI agent, but the installation and authentication process is quite simple. Make note of the IP address of the machine, 10.96.35.108, and the fact that we have zero sent and received bytes. Now, let's log into another account. In this case, Karen Williams. As you may have already noted, Karen is logged into the same machine, 10.96.35.108, with no bytes sent or received. Now, pivoting back to John, let's try to access Google via the Chrome browser. And as expected, this traffic is blocked. On the agent, note how we now have bytes sent and received. Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange blocked this traffic when it was sent via the workload communication solution. Let's try the same test on Karen's session. This traffic is successful because Karen's account is not associated with the drop firewall policy. Here again, we can see where the traffic counters increment as traffic is processed by the Zero Trust Exchange. Now, how about logging? From the ZIA dashboard, we can delve right into the logs from John directly. Here we can see the traffic that was blocked for Google. Similarly, we can do the same for Karen. Here we see successful traffic to Google. Likewise, from the Firewall Insights logs, we can see lower level logs associated with the block. Excluding John from our query allows us to focus in on Karen, where we can see her successful traffic. All of these policies are enabled based on data collected through the VDI agent and sent to the Zero Trust Exchange via workload communications. Keep in mind that policies are reusable as well, so existing user policies can carry over to VDI environments with ease. Thank you for joining me in this video, and I hope you found it useful.